A man is dead and a driver behind bars after what investigators say is an intentional act of hate. The suspect is accused of intentionally hitting and killing a man on a motorcycle. CBS 58's Pari Cruz reports from Fond du Lac with the evidence that was presented today. Yeah, Natalie, the criminal complaint states that while out driving along this road, 27 year old Daniel Navarro swerved into oncoming traffic to purposely hit a motorcyclist. It's being investigated not only as a homicide, but as a hate crime because Navarro told investigators he was targeting a white person. State versus Daniel Navarro, 20 CF 463. 27 year old Daniel Navarro made his first appearance in court today. He's facing homicide and hate crime charges after telling officers he targeted a white man for his race. We do not believe the suspect knew Philip, had ever met Philip. 55 year old Philip Thiessen was killed the evening of July 3rd when Navarro hit him with his truck. The criminal complaint states that Navarro was driving eastbound on Winnebago Drive in Techita when he swerved into the path of Thiessen traveling westbound on his Harley Davidson striking him head on. Navarro said he intentionally swerved into the path of the oncoming motorcycle with the intent to kill that operator. Thiessen died on scene. According to the criminal complaint, detectives interviewed Navarro for about three and a half hours where he revealed he was intentionally targeting a white person because in Wisconsin they drive motorcycles and Harley culture is made up of white racists. He chose a motorcycle instead of a car because he wanted the driver to die and not just be injured or paralyzed. He has the presumption of innocence and we're going to let that process play out. Navarro told detectives he was constantly targeted for being Mexican by Caucasian neighbors, friends and coworkers. People can disagree, but that we're not taking steps that lead to violence, that there can be civil discussion and if people want uh, reforms to have those discussions peacefully, but the you know violence is never the way uh, to solve issues and it only sets things backwards. Navarro has a $1 million bond. He's expected back in court on July 17th. For now live in Teichita, I'm Pari Cruz, CBS 58 News.